Good. Okay, so this is Karpov Shiroff from 92. I thought we'd just look at some middle games and talk about what's going on. Then the chat can learn too, except for one thing. The chat, chat usually doesn't learn? No, nah, the chat, they don't, you know. Yeah, they don't focus, They're right? They're like, that move's legal? Okay, so Shirov played queen c7. Obviously, this is some kind of semi-slav I can't understand. And then Karpov is Karpov. So he decided to develop his bad bishop. So he played b3. And Shirov is Shirov. So he played e5. Because he's Shirov. Okay. That's what he does. Right. Okay, so what would you do here if you were white? If I was white, mm -hmm. I would... You'd be like, why uh, am I playing this opening? Why is my pawn on e3? <laughs> Lol. No, now that I, my coach is Mr. Feinstein, I always mm -hmm. play 1d4. Always? Have yes. you ever played it? No. <laughs> okay. Actually, yes, I have. Uh, I'm thinking about the move. I actually have several options here. I consider, like, I consider several moves. Uh, hmm. Let me see. I don't want to say anything stupid too early. I'm thinking about. No, actually, you want to go e4. So I kind of should do something with it. It's probably if I um. Like I guess no tactic works here. Hmm. No, we we never look at tactics. This is Karpov. We just put you to yeah. sleep. Correct. I, he used to be my favorite player when I studied chess, so, um, huh. Yeah, Karpov in the 70s is hard to beat. Yeah. You start to realize Magnus has some faults. Resignant says Steinitz subscribed. Hooray. I mean. Go Feinstein. Man, I really should change my name. I like that name. Yeah. How about H3? Yeah, that's what he played. Yes! You see, chat, that's the, the level right here. The Soviet School of Chess after the Soviet Union disintegrated. Very good. Yeah, Russian School of Chess. So you're Soviet you're older Union. than the last time I talked to you. Hey! <laughs> you shh. Shh. You, you have to change your, your birth date on Wikipedia if you don't want people to know how old you are. I actually was thinking about that. You know, like you're, Georgian players. All of uh, Georgian national women's team is born on January 1st because oh, yeah? all, all their age is fake. Like they're usually <laughs> two to three out. No, it's true. <laughs> like you look, all these girls, literally half of the team is born on January 1st and mm -hmm. they it's not their real age. They're like one, two, three years uh, older. Their parents you, you, would do that do you, when they were, you know, when they were trying to win yacht medals and stuff. Like Dina, sports. do you know why they're born on January 1st? Who? Do you know why? Who? The Georgian players. What do you mean who? Oh, who are born? Do you yeah, know why they're why? born January 1st? Do you have another reason? Yes. Okay. This is one of my top 10 jokes of all time. Okay. I just made it up. It might okay. be top five. Okay, because when, when their parents were in bed together and he pulled out, she said, I thought you were wearing a condom. And he said, April Fools. Uh, <laughs> I, I hope that's nine months. Let's see. Nine, carry the one. Yeah. Did you come up with it right now? Yep. Oh, I have, I have, my, my chat goes crazy. Yeah, my chat likes that too. Oh my God. Ben, how, how dare you... Honestly, offend the sensibilities of yeah. Now oh, you guys can you. you guys can have your kids get lessons from me, and now you know the kind of jokes I tell. I'll be like, "Hey, son, you know why you were born on this day?" Oh snap! Lol. That's a nice one, Ben. Okay, let's focus. I was focused. Okay. Right. So okay, so Shirov played Bishop B seven. Engine engine agrees. Okay, bishop b2, not very exciting. a6. It's funny, like, this is the only move that gives white an advantage. The move that Karpov played. Yeah. Like, if my student played it, I would yell at them. Good. Yes, you should. Any good coach should yell at their students. Yeah, it doesn't matter if the move's good or the best. You just get yelled at. Yeah. Okay, so he played de... 
Yeah, and the reason they're born on January 1st is Karpov played DE and they didn't play ED. That's why. Whoa, this one I didn't get. Yeah, but the chat's going to get it. Your chat and my chat will get it. So that's the important thing. Mm -mm. Fem Beingold says he got it. He didn't mean he got the joke. He meant he has ED. ED is a medical condition. You can go to the internet and type in ED medical. <laughs> okay, let's focus. <laughs> let's, we are focusing. Okay, so knight takes e5. Now, yes. Karpov followed one of my most famous rules. Okay. Although the engine plays some other move. But I have a rule. When the pawn's on b5, you play a4. When the pawns are on b5, you play a4. That's one of my rules. Okay, got it. Very specific rule. Yeah. Okay, then this stops... And the idea in this particular position is it makes it very difficult for black to play c5. Okay. And if black plays b4, at some point, they're giving away the c4 square so we could trade knights and play bishop c4 later. That's a very famous idea in uh, uh, King's Gambit, Queen's Gambit Accepted, the opening that I played all my life before yeah. I met Ben. And then I stopped and then I met Ben. Something like this. Wait, what did I do? Oh yeah. You you made me play Kings I mean well, yeah. No, oh somebody no. somebody asked me a question about you before you showed up. Yes. So I don't think you'll mind answering it. I don't think yeah. so. They said, How come Dina's sister doesn't play chess anymore? She started to hate it. What happened? Okay, so that's a good question and the answer is pretty simple. So ba wait. Basically my sister never really had a thing for chess like at all it's just during covid it was like it was cool to um to try the twitch to join twitch and i i i got her on twitch like mm -hmm. and now she has her own twitch channel oh. so i got her into twitch but she was never into chess chess was just like you know part of twitch mm -hmm. Yeah, until she gained enough uh, confidence to tell me straight in the face, I don't want to play your game. I want to play my game. Mm -hmm. And then she decided to create her own channel. And um, yeah. Lawful Waffle, it's... my my sub says, is it called the other Belenkaya? <laughs> Lol. <laughs> no, she, she caught her name. It's Asia Bell. She doesn't want to be associated with uh, Belenkaya Chess. Mm hmm Yeah. But it was cool having her because um because I mean, you know, it's super hard to have a channel yourself. Really hard. Like I mean, you know it yourself. You merge with your wife. Mm-hmm. It's like, yeah, it's it's very, very hard. So for me it was a blast having a, a co streamer. Mm-hmm. Okily dokily. That's it. Okay, so Shirov played rook a d8. And now Karpov played the best move again. This one you have to find. Ah, uh, best move. Let's focus. It's mm. funny, if I was like at a world open and I was walking around and I saw this position, I would just think it's equal and I would walk to the next game. I got you. I got you. But the, the engine isn't says it, differently. Yeah. Isn't it something like knight g5? It is knight g5. Yeah. And stop, there's some knight Stop cheating by looking at the moves. No! What are you saying? This is Queen's Gambit accepted. It's the same ideas over and over again. I, play, I played it all my life until I... Uh, yeah, I was laughing when I said that. I wanted to see what your reaction would be. Okay. So, Don't you dare accusing me of cheater. I of cheating. I would never. What, the only what, time I cheat is when we play in real board. What? What about? Because what, I can use my hands. What, I only cheat with my hands. What about Kramnik? What would he say? I mean, Kramnik. If you want to know what I think about Kramnik, then yes. I'll tell you that it's simply mathematics and statistics. There's mm -hmm. nothing other than that. It's all proven. Mm -hmm. So yeah. 
Yeah, he uses That's combinations, right. lady. Okay, so queen e7, reasonable. And then knight e4, also reasonable. Okay. Bishop b4, reasonable. Now Karpov decided he wanted to follow my rule. I have a lot of rules. So basically any move you make follows my rules. So he transferred his knight. He played the move knight g3 because knight f5 is coming. Mm -hmm. Or so I thought. Now, mm -hmm. normally this would be sort of funny, but it's not funny because it's true. It could still be oh. funny, I guess. Shirov played a bad move here. What move would be bad based on my rules? Never play F6. He played F6, and it's a terrible move. How dare he? I mean, honestly, he should have... Yeah, this is such a... I feel sorry for him. Now, Karpov did the best... Tied for best engine move. It's a move I would never think of in my life. Ooh, I would never weird. consider this move, and that's what Karpov did. The engine says it's the best move. That's why he's Karpov... And I'm sitting here in my basement, dark and scary, with, you know, with the chat that's making fun of me, etc. Although mean, Karpov is banned were... from most of the world, so. Yeah, I was just about to say, you took it from my, from my tongue. Okay, so he did something which is antipositional, but it turned out to be positional. Hmm. What could he have done? Is it like, huh? Something that Ben Feinstein would never do in his life. It's funny. It is positional, but it's a strange move. That you can find it because you're not a grandmaster yet. Mm, I see. Because the grandmaster wouldn't do it because it would be a mistake. Yeah, grandmaster would never do this. But Karpov... He, he's ahead of all grandmasters. He can do what he wants. Yeah, 92, I'm, Karpov was still okay. I feel like it must be something like bishop e5, just because it's weird. Bishop e5 is what he played. Because, be, yeah, yeah, look at me. I'm just guessing all Karpov's moves. Yeah, very um, good. There, 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 I, I can explain. It's because... Your, your volume got very time. strange. Your microphone is in a strange place or something. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. It got turned out. So I can explain. Bishop e5, in fact, like at first, you think like you're giving away your bishop against the knight, but the knight is the center. But in fact, here, Karpov wants to play against the bishop on b7. He wants to play bishop f3 next. And then like, yeah, and then bring the knight to c5 would be ideal. Like knight e4, knight c5. And he does that. He basically wants to dominate with a good bishop against a bad bishop. Okay, some of what you said was right, but I don't know what part was right. Okay, so uh, you, he, he did sort of the opposite against... of what you said. So, and also the C file. He wants to weaken the C file. Like Bishop F3 here is a must. No, he didn't play Bishop F3. Bishop F3 is oh. the second best, third best move. I mean, we can take on D8. He played, the, he, room... he played the best move. Oh, wait, we cannot take. We can check Bishop C4, but it's weird. I don't know. It's stupid. Um, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Uh, we need to do maybe if it's not bishop f3, then it's bishop h5. Bishop h5 isn't bad. This moves way better than the other ones. It's the is whole point it? of bishop e5. Okay. Is it like it's the whole what? It's the whole point of bishop takes e5 and it makes f6 look bad. Always make f6 look bad. Yeah. Did you say, huh? Oh, no. Actually, no. Wait, uh, he doesn't want to do that. Wait, you didn't like, whoa, why didn't you like bishop h5? Then rook f8. Is it, is it, yeah, I mean, big deal. Wait. Okay, um, sorry. Bishop h5 is okay. This move is just much better. Bishop d3? Bishop d3. I got it. I got it. Yeah, now it says white's winning. 
Man, if right. I was watching this, like walking around, I think it's equal. You think so? White's white's up plus two almost. Oh wow. Okay, so h6, put it in h. Bishop g6. And this should remind you of the famous white square symphony game between Karpov and Kasparov from one of their matches. Right. It, I think it was a Tarash Queen's Gambit. Okay, so rook f8, knife f5. Always play knife f5. Yay, go Karpov. Always okay. play knight f5. So finally, uh, Shirov tried to improve his bishop. The engine says bishop c8 is the best move. And then after knight d4, bishop back to b7. <laughs> wow. That's hard for a human to play. Right. Okay, he played c5. Very human move. Takes, takes, rook a7. Go Karpov. Actually, don't say that. He's not such a good example. No, I mean in this chess game. Oh. Look, everybody's a terrible person. The older you get, you'll learn that. But you're so young, you don't know that yet. I like the sound of that. You'll become older and bitter. You'll be like, everybody's terrible I've ever met. I used to think Ben was a good guy. Then this happened and that happened. You think I will lose faith in you, Ben? No. Also, I talked to Sting about it. And he said, you'll never lose your faith in me. To whom? Sting, the singer, the police. Oh, okay. He also played Kasparov once. Oh, interesting. Yeah, that's something I haven't done. Also, that was a, a song most people don't know. So very few people are going to get it. But some people will. Very few. I've, I've seen Sting in concert twice, and he's great. Okay, so Queen C7. Okay, now... Karpov played a move. I don't know if I would think of it, but it's genius. Is also, it? it's only tied for first. But it's, it's a genius move that I think few people would think of. Let me think. Mm -hmm. You might uh, think of a better move. Strobex Gaming subscribe. Thank you. That's a different sting, quadruple digit at last. There is a picture on the internet of the two stings. The wrestler and the singer. They, they've met each other. Interesting. I'm, I'm guessing Dina hasn't heard of the wrestler sting. <laughs> I haven't heard of any sting apart from the sting that stings. Well, you've heard of the singer sting, no? No. You haven't heard of the police? How about how about bishop to h7? Bishop h7? You're always playing crazy tactic. Sorry, 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 Ben. You're right, you're right. I mean, this I take it. It was a bad it. idea. King d96. You mean after taking it? Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't know. Let's see. Bishop no, but check. It's fine. It's just too, it, it's, there's no idea in this. Knight d6. No bishop e4, double x clam. Wow, what a he move. Takes what a move. Five. Wow. Wow. Look at this move. Yeah, queen takes f5. Man, if your e opponent seven. played bishop e4, you'd be like, what the hell? F queen e7 or queen f7. But it, okay, you, I don't... And then c4. Oh my god, then c4 in the end. Yep. Yeah, tactics never work. That's Karpov would never play a move like that. He has to calculate. Terrible. Yeah. How about mm, we think? How about we think? Mm -hmm. We use our brain and we come up with something smart. You don't like my tactics. I don't. Yeah. Why don't you like my tactics? I could play rook takes d8 and then knight g7 and then bishop e4, but you don't like my tactics. I guess it doesn't uh, work. Bishop takes e4? Yeah, yeah. No, but there was rook g7 check, but yeah. 
Oh yeah, yeah. I see. I see. Oh I see. oh oh. Yes. After knight g7, king g7. Yeah, you don't oh, want to take with the king. I could take with the queen. If I take with the king, I could play rook b8 or something. I guess. You're right. You're right. Damn, Ben, you are so right. Have I ever told you how right you are? Man, this is really funny. The engine said Karpov's move was the second best. Then after four minutes, it said his move is by far the best. God damn. Wow. He's better than Stockfish 16, thinking for three minutes. I actually really feels bad. And somehow Carlson's the greatest. I don't know how that is. Oh, okay. How about knights to d4? I mean, I'm always going to say some crazy shit. Knight to d4, that's... I don't know, queen b6. Yeah. I don't understand. Do you want, like, a normal move? You actually. I want the best play. move. That's all I ever want. All I ever wanted... Okay, wait. I cannot sing. I shouldn't start singing. Ah! Freak. I don't know. I, it's, it's actually... Huh. How's Karpov so good? Man. That's what, what, that's what she he's such a He's such a bad player. I mean, a bad person. Okay, so I'll tell you, so you'll be surprised. Mm -hmm. Knight h4. Wow. Always retreat. Okay. With the idea of bishop h7, gg. Wow. Damn girl. Plus five for white. Man, truth hurts. Wow. Yeah, f6 was no good. Nobody in the chat said knight h4. But that's okay because nobody in the chat understands knight h4, even after I explained it. Bishop check. Well, how do you... check. No, now I understand. Yeah, of course you understand. Yeah. Okay, so Shirov he... took. Karpov played the engine move because it's the only legal move. Good for him. Rook a8. Man. He's so strong playing mm -hmm. all those engine moves. Yeah, plays all those engine moves. Yeah. Okay, now there's one move that's way better than the other moves. Oh, really? Way better. Yeah. There's only one good move here for white. Oh, okay. Uh... Man, Karpov plays the best move every move. No wonder he was good. I guess in 92 he was still pretty good. I have one thing to say about this game. It's very important for you. It's the most important thing you're going to hear all day. I'm listening. It was played before you were born. <laughs> oh, my God. It is. Ben, you are so sweet. Did Karen raise you like that? Exactly. That's how she raised me from when I was a little baby. <laughs> born and raised by Karen. Mm -hmm. How about... Sharks. Oh my god, I don't see it. I just don't. Do, do you see it? No. Uh -oh. No. Well, I can show I you. Can't. You'll like it when you see it. You'll be like, yeah, I like that. Okay, maybe it's Queen F3. You're so no, close. You couldn't it's be closer. Queen, queen, queen D5? No, queen g4. Queen f3 was just giving away the rook. But yeah, but, but, but queen g4. Oh, and queen e6. Oh my god, that's so easy. How did I not see it? Karpov's really good at tactics, I guess. So now Karpov's yeah. threatening rook takes rook check. And then it's mate. I guess he's rook at tactics when he's uh, not good at positional, at strategy. Kar Karpov was pretty good. Okay, so... Queen c6, that's the engine move. Now there's one move that's much, much better than the other moves. Okay. So you'll find it this time. Mm. Hmm. Let's think. I think if I show enough Karpov games, 
like over the next few weeks, I can convince some of the chat he's better than Carlson. I just have to show the right games. Lol. I can't show any of the draws he had. No draws. Although I did put him fifth of all time and I put Carlson at fourth. So even I think Carlson's better. Who is third? Uh, Kasparov. Interesting. He's pretty good. Is he? I think so. I've never heard of him. And then I put Fisher second and everybody's favorite first. Uh, Hans Niemann? Close. Morphy. Oh. But you were close. Yeah. Hans Niemann would be good. I get more views then. I should have done that. Exactly. You're, you're literally picking men who no one knows. Haven't you seen Gotham Chas on YouTube? All his videos are about Bananas. Mm hmm. I heard of him. Magnus did this, Magnus did that. I, I, Magnus, I, I, Magnus, I've Magnus. never met him. Good for you. They're telling me to show Karpov's worst losses. No. Fen Beingold said my favorite player is Hans Feinstein. <laughs> oh my god. You guys are funny. You guys have way ahead too much time at your end. <laughs> okay, I, I need to think. I can't focus like this. You guys are distracting me. How about knight f5? That's the second best move. Shit. I was so that's good. That second best move is good. Should I start with? Sorry. I can take the rook first, and then play knight f five. That's the third best. Okay, sharks. Sharks. I don't see it. Okay, it's one of my rules. Do you know all my rules? The rules. Always, always. Move back. Now, now my chat's going to get it because I said always. Yeah, now the chat just scro scrolling. <laughs> Bishop B1. That's not a rule. My, <laughs> my rule is King B1. Oh. Yeah, don't play that. Okay. So... Bonarici said he got it five minutes ago. <laughs> By the way, Karpov does... Kar the exchange. Oh, yeah, yeah. Karpov does this a lot. Karpov sacks the exchange a lot, if you look at his games. Always sacks the exchange. My chat knows you so well. They mm -hmm. know you better than I do. Okay, so queen takes. Okay. Queen e6. So this is funny. He played the move king h8. If he plays king f8, which he didn't do, what's the best move? Um, it should be like bishop e4 or something. Bishop e4, second best. Bishop e8. Bishop e8. Bishop e8? <laughs> uh, bishop b1. Let's see. Why doesn't bishop e8 work? I like bishop e8. That loses. Rook check and queen b8 check. Oh, G3. Then I take and I defend G6. Oh, then, yeah, then probably Bishop, Bishop B1. No, You're not doing no, well today. I think it's because you had too much to drink. That's correct. Um, you said it's not Bishop E4. It's mm -mm. Bishop. This move is plus 36. So it's a good move. I hope you guys at home understand how strong Karpov was because these are hard moves to find. And somehow Karpov Bishop plays H engine seven. move every move. Every move, engine move. Right, Bishop, Bishop H7. H7. Okay. Then it says resigns is the best move. Damn. That's a nice move, Bishop H7. Okay, he played King H8. Yeah. Now we play normal, Bishop E4. Mm -hmm. And then Shirov resigned. The engine says queen takes e4 is the best move. 
Okay. That's probably not good. Because I'm going to checkmate you with, with Knight here check. I, I mean, checkmate. it's a try. It's a try. You can try. Why not? I checkmate you. Let's see. Let's play a normal move. Queen b8. Thanks, yeah. Jude, for the raid. Go, Jude. Man, Karpov plays good. That was harsh. Man, Shirov looked bad that game. 92, that was like Shirov's peak. Yeah. Yeah, he was good in the 90s. So I have to tell you a funny story and tell me if you agree, and then my chat will... Two people, two people wanted me to give lectures. I give a lecture every Monday at 6 on Zoom. Okay. One of them was Morozevich, and one of them uh, was Shirov. And Karen said, is this great players of the present or great players of the past? And aren't I was like... great players of the past dead? No, great players of the past aren't dead. They could just be older and don't play anymore. Okay. So I was like, well, Morozevich doesn't play anymore, and Shirov plays all the time, and Shirov's older than Morozevich. So I said, Morozevich is great players of the past, and Shirov is great players of the present, even though Shirov's older. Nice. I didn't know what else to do, because Morozevich doesn't play anymore. That's true. I mean, he coaches. Yeah, but he's not playing in Super GM tournaments. Shirov is playing uh, in weaker tournaments, but still, yeah, still plays. Morozevic is also probably not playing because he is uh, he is not like he doesn't have a lot of opportunities. Mm. Somebody asked, why doesn't Rook A one check work? Okay, now you have to stop Queen E eight mate and Knight G six check. The answer is Queen takes E four. It's not a good answer, but it's the best answer. Otherwise, the engine announces mate. Yeah, no, that's understandable. Yeah, this is too easy for Dina, but too hard for the chat. We need to find some middle ground. Okay. What do you usually do with your chat? I don't show them tough games too often. I show them like my games and I make fun of my opponent. So you think this is too tough for your community? Yeah, but it's good for you. Yeah. Aww. 